Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a dreams tutorial. Well, it's more of a how did I do it tutorial. Um, I posted up this animated remix of Boson Henry Roberts uh, last week, and um, it's just a little practice animation that I made to try out a few different techniques. And I thought I'd show you how I did it. So if you haven't seen it, let me play it for you now. Ah, me hearties! Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! There we go, so there is my animation. Uh, it took me three hours in total and the majority of that time uh, was experimenting with stuff that n never made it. So um, the actual animation, I, I think, probably took me less than an hour to sort out. Um, I used all this stuff was taken from the Dreamiverse. I didn't sculpt anything other than this barrel and I sculpted that in the beta. So this wasn't an exercise in sculpting. This is an exercise in animation technique and um i initially wanted to use sculpts to move the mouth uh but unfortunately it turned out that i couldn't remove the mouth from the sculpture uh so i wasn't able to do that and i uh had to leave the the mouth as it was and somehow managed to do uh mouth animation over the top of it so i chose to use paint and I think that was probably a good decision and uh, one that I think I will probably do in the future uh, after I've experimented with um, with the mouth shapes if uh, if it doesn't work out then uh, paint is always an option so what did I do well you may recognize the model it's by Max 17 it's this one here um, I'll just pop a version. Where is it? Where is he? There. Okay, I will pop this version into my game just briefly so you can see it and you can see what I did. Right, okay. Uh, this is the figure that I chose to animate. It's not designed to animate. Uh, this is a, a, a sculpt. It's not cut up into bits that... Um, uh, designed specifically to move uh, it's all one big sculpt and not all of it was um, easy to take apart so I started off I took the I got rid of the pipe entirely so that's gone um, and uh, luckily things like the um, the moustache uh, were separate items and the eyebrows were separate items so they were easy to uh, remove and make as separate things also the eyeballs were all also separate um, they were uh, easy to uh, take out and redo but the head is sculpted into the neck um, in a way that I cannot take it apart um, it's all one piece um, so what I had to do was make uh, a copy of this and delete the head from one and delete the neck from another so I had two pieces so I had um, a copy so I could have the head separate from the from the neck so I could animate the head right so this is what I did um, I used keyframes um, I can go. Uh, I used keyframes and I've popped them into a timeline. I also used the action recorder and um, I used the paint tool as well. So uh, what I did is first of all I made a recording of the voice. So if I press play here. Ah me hearties! Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Right, that is me. And just to prove it is me, 
I'm going to go into pitch. And you can see it's, it's at minus five. I'm going to put it back Arr, up. Ah, me hearties. Yo. Right, play it again. Ah, me hearties. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. I think you can tell that's me. <laughs> so that's me. Um, so I, I pitched it down to minus Arr, five. You can, I could have pitched it lower. Arr, me hearties. Um, so we could have got this. Army hearties. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. I think that's too deep. Army man's chest. Army hearties. Yo, ho, ho. So I, I thought five. Army hearties. Yo, ho, ho. It was about right. Army hearties. And it sounded... It sounded like a man's voice, so that was okay. Now, the the way to get a pitch shift to work so that you don't change the tempo is to go into uh, settings at the end and unclick vary speed. Uh, if you don't, you can see that um, it slows down when you change the pitch, so it plays a lot slower. So if you unclick that. It then plays at the same speed at which you did it before. It's just pitched down. Thank you, Bogdan, for telling me about that when I asked in the, in the forum. Okay, so uh, there's the voice sorted. That's what I was going to animate to. And now I had to decide what I was going to animate. So I, um, I'm going to animate the eyebrows. So I created a keyframe. And popped it on my timeline. Timeline. This is the eyebrows. So the eyebrows go up and down. So they go up on the keyframe and normally down. And the keyframe just moves them up. You can see that there on my model. Um, and I placed uh, I placed that at random intervals or where I wanted it to to activate on my timeline. Here is the mouths. I've actually only got two. Uh, I coloured them differently so that I could tell the difference. One is a open mouth, which is that one, and one is an an O shape mouth. So I just painted those. I just did a, did a, a quick paint of a of a mouth shape, and I so um, I then made the opacity of those paint shapes. Let me just make one for you. So you can see what I mean. So um, I took my paint and I painted a mouth like this. Um, there we go. So there's a mouth shape. There's my mouth shape. I put placed that uh, over the top of the the mouth on my character. And then I went into the, its tweak menu and I changed the opacity down to zero, therefore making it completely invisible. And um, and then on my keyframe, I just put it back up to a hundred. So basically, visible invisible situation, but with paint. Um, so that's what I've done there. So uh, where there's gaps, it's going to be his normal mouth. And everywhere else, it's going to be these paint shapes show. This one next down here is the blink. So I put some, uh, I put some eyelids in, like so, and had them closed. And then I put the blinks in where I wanted them um, in the speech. And this is the moustache. So you can see the moustache go up in the air. There we go. You can see that. There we go. Um, now this is done slightly differently. I wired this to the envelope. So if you go to um, my sound, whoops, wrong one. Uh, go to the sound and you go to outputs. This one here, this is the envelope. I wired this into the power of this keyframe. So what this is doing is it's powering on the moustache uh, 
with the timber of this bit of speech. So uh, as it as he's speaking, um, this is going to uh, activate that timeline. And so I made the timeline the length of the speech. And it's just turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, as it goes through the timeline, uh, depending on whether it's, it can detect sounds or not. And that way the moustache goes up and down. I don't have to animate it. I could have animated the same as I did the mouths and the blinking and everything else. But this way, um, it's nice, quick and easy. You can then just get it to just move up and down with the speech. And it's a good tip um, with the characters with moustaches. You can actually uh, just lip sync with the moustache moving up and down. You don't even need a mouth. Um, and it actually works quite well. People all accept that he is talking even though they can't see a mouth and it's just a moustache going up and down. Um, right, this is the action recorder. This one is actually moving the the whole of this grouping, which is um, the the character model and the barrel and everything. And I was just I just moved it backwards and forwards in the water um, during the length of the recording. Uh, this one is the head movement, so I animated the head movement separately, so he's moving his head about. Uh, this one I believe does the water, so I've got it going up and down. Let's see, see, going up and down with the barrel. And this one is the flight path of my uh, seagull. Uh, like I say, all of this stuff was what I found in the Dreamiverse. This has already had its own little animations, flapping animations in there. So that was perfect. All I needed to do was get it to fly across my s scene. And so I put an action recorder in to do its movements. And that is it. Ah, my hearty. You can see there. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle so I'm not of running the whole thing. Men on a dead man's it's just chest. moving the uh, the bird across in the, the action recorder. If I do the whole thing, ah, my it'll fly. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. So there you go. There was my animation, and there's all the animation techniques that I used to make it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can do this as well with your animations, and I'd love to see them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've made an animation and you'd let me have a look. I will absolutely have a look uh, and see what you've done. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams.